stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you a few little samples using the Color Me Irresistible Specialty Designer Series paper that is in the 2015-2016 Stampin' Up! catalog. So this paper is super fabulous and so much fun to play with. As you can see these samples here are just amazing and I use them, uh, I use the paper on each of them. So super fabulous. This one with the little tuxedo I just love it. I just think it's so precious. And I love, love, love polka dots. So there's that one. So first I just wanted to show you the paper up close and personal because I know the catalog can be a little questioning as to what exactly the paper is and how exactly it's going to look. So here is actually, I'll show you the colors first. So here are each of the colors. So you can see that there's this wood grain that's in like a tip top taupe. So you can see that wood grain shine in there. So it's actually embossed and you can feel the ripples in it, but it's clear embossed, uh, a wood grain pattern. Then this one here, we have the Watermelon Wonder. These are all of the new in colors. The Watermelon Wonder, we have polka dots. So super fun, flirty looking. Then here we have the Mint Macaroon, Mint Macaron, I'm sorry, I guess it's Mint Macaron. And it's like, um, raindrops almost like the raindrops go this way I don't know how well you can see some of these but it's like little raindrops and as it's pouring down rain it seems like it's monsoon season outside uh, here in the Midwest then that one is very appropriate right now then this one is just uh, lots and lots of triangles so I don't know you can see those there and again it is embossed and it's textured so you can feel those then we have some of the Cucumber Crush, and this is just a regular stripe. Um, it's a straight up and down stripe. And then we have the Basic Black, and this is a diagonal stripe. So you can see those diagonals there. Here, for some reason, laying it down flat, it seems to look better. Can you see them better here? I don't know. Anyway, so there is all of the colors. Now, there's also a white image in each of those same patterns. And with the white, you can actually color it using your sponge daubers, stamping on it, spritzing on it, using uh, lots of different options. Uh, you can even use your markers and everything on it too. So now here we have um, all of the same patterns, the stripes, um, diagonal, the stripes going across, and then the polka dots, the raindrops, the triangles, and the wood grain. So again, those are all kind of hard to see. If I wiggle them, maybe you can see them a little bit better. You can also add color to them, and then of course you can see them really well. So now let's set those aside, and I'm gonna bring back the samples. So this one here uses those polka dots with that watermelon wonder. And I just stamped the greeting from You've Got This there at the top. So simple, quick, not much to this card, but yet it still has that wow and that texture there too. And I love, love, love that satin stitched ribbon. It's so gorgeous. This one here uses some of the Whisper White, and I actually did not color it. I just left it alone. It's that diagonal stripe. And then I used the Bow Builder Punch to create that little bow tie and some candy dots and pool party down the center there. So super cute and it's got that texture, you know, and that's almost exactly what a tux shirt looks like. It has those, you know, like little threads that are kind of shiny. So love that. This one here, I went for a man card style and I used some of the tip top taupe as my card base and then some mossy meadow. And then I used some of the tip top taupe wood grain, but I added some color with my sponge dauber. I added some chocolate chip. And so we're just gonna do that right now. So here we have our little piece, our little strip of that designer series paper. And I have my chocolate chip ink and my sponge dauber. And you're just going to, I usually do circular, circular image it, or circular way to do this. That's what I find. You could also go up and down, but then sometimes you end up getting streaks. So I usually do like a circular motion and just go across there and you can add or you can go side to side or up and down or 
You can do that however you wish until you've covered the whole thing. And you can go light, you can go dark, you can, uh, you know, add as much or as little ink as you wish. Of course, I always go dark because my colors, I always need to be nice and bold and dark. Um, I was definitely the kid that broke all the, the crayon tips. But there's that there, and then I just added it and created that little fence there. You could always take a little triangle punch and make um, little bumps so that it triangles and looks like a, the top of the wood. Here I actually took some of the Watermelon Wonder polka dot paper, and I used basic black um, with my sponge dauber, and I added the color. You can see it does look pretty cool, but it, to me it's too light. <laughs> It's not as strong of a black there, um, but it is super cute. Makes me think of like Mickey Mouse or something maybe. Um, but that you can also do that to the colored pieces or add, um, you know, a darker green to the green stripe, or you could add a lighter green. Um, I'm not sure. Lighter green might not show up as well because of the dark cardstock. Um, but you could add any colors to any of these just with. Uh, your color choice. Spritzing always makes me a little nervous because I'm wondering where it's going to spritz at and I get inky fingers, but that's crafting, isn't it? So I prefer sponge daubers because I love, love, love my sponge daubers. Um, and you can color this Color Me Irresistible Designer Series paper any color that you wish. So here are the samples. Be sure to check out my blog for more samples and ways to use uh, this designer series paper and all the fun you can have with it. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.